delayed gratification. It's kind of a disappearing concept because we're in a time in our culture, especially the United States, where we have the opposite. We don't delay gratification. We are very hedonistic and the message is go for it, get it, whatever you want is okay, it's up to you. Um, there's an over emphasis on pleasure, immediate reward, and um, a entitlement mentality where people believe that they're entitled to things that they don't have to work for. And uh, some even think that they have the right to take those things if they don't get them. This permeates relationships between uh, adult parent or adult children and parents, uh, spouses, relationships, parents. It's just, it's a very difficult time. And delayed gratification is something that uh, we have a shortage of. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, a psychologist named Walter Michel led some experiments at Stanford University where he took preschool children, put them in a room, had a double glass, told them that if they, they could have one reward, a cookie or a marshmallow on the plate on the table right away, or if they waited 15 minutes, they could have two. And so then they proceeded to film those children not knowing they were being watched. And they found some very interesting things. There were some children who immediately grabbed the marshmallow or the cookie and shoved it in their mouth. Some other of the children wanted to wait so they could get two. And they had some strategies that they used. They sat on their hands, they looked at the ceiling, they looked down, they didn't look at the cookies or the marshmallow. So that's a strategy. That's saying, I want to control my desires, I want to delay my gratification, and I'm gonna actively engage in doing that. And I'm going to do things that make it easier for me. It's a lot of, a lot of skill for three and four year old kids. What they did though is they followed these kids all the way up through early adulthood. And they found that those children at that early age who could delay gratification were absolutely at a different class than those children that could not. They were more academically successful. They had better peer relationships. Uh, they had better life outcomes all the way into adulthood. That makes sense though, because if you can delay gratification, that means that you can set goals and you will have the self-discipline to achieve those goals. Um, you can incrementally work toward them. It enables you to control your emotions or do what is called be emotionally intelligent because you can recognize your emotions, but then choose how you want to respond to them and make the right choice. Um, it enables you to say no to things that are wrong because you have that self-control and that ability to analyze and step back and, and reason. So you can make uh, good choices in your relationships and in your life, which will help you achieve. So, you know, God doesn't expect us to deny things just for the sake of denying things. He doesn't play games with us but he wants us to delay our gratification of things and to be able to have self-control with that because he wants us to um, be able to make good choices and have self-discipline. Without delayed gratification, self-discipline is thrown out. It's non-existent. Uh, you'll be impulsive. You will not be able to say no and stick to it. You can get, you'll give in to temptation. Uh, you'll be reactive. All of those things will come if you don't have delayed gratification. So if you struggle with that, start small. Um, start with not grabbing that cookie after dinner or that second cookie or not giving in to that little tiny temptation. Maybe not having that second helping of mashed potatoes. Whatever it is that can help you begin to delay gratification or to increase self-control. Maybe it's not commenting sarcastically the next time somebody says something when you have that little thought that comes into your mind. It's just controlling your mouth that little bit. Uh, it might be controlling your body. I'm gonna take a walk. I'm gonna do one thing each day that's good for me. So you want to work on delaying gratification. You also wanna teach your children to delay gratification. 
You want to make sure that you don't give everything that your child demands when it's demanded. You want to make sure that you teach your child to wait. Teach your child to control their desires. Teach your child to hold off something that they save money for rather than get it right away. Uh, teach your child to hold, withhold or to uh, control emotions and to have patience and to work towards a goal, even if it's a little goal. You can teach your child uh, to have uh, delayed gratification, which is going to uh, set your child up to be a much more successful adult. Romans 13, 14 says, Clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27 talks about delayed gratification and self-control. Paul says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown, a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Now, Paul's not talking about self, you know, uh, injury. He's not talking about literally beating yourself up figuratively. He's saying he does what it takes to force his body to go along with the decisions that he makes that are best for him. He forces himself to delay gratification through self-discipline and training to do what is best for his long-term benefit, including a eternal, spiritual, long-term benefit. So I hope that this has helped you, just kind of held you, helped you to reflect a little bit on the role that delayed gratification plays uh, in your life today. Thank you for watching this video on Change My Relationship.